Hey everyone, welcome to Japan Fest. Unfortunately, we're not with you in person this year, but we're glad to be here virtually. I am Sam Cash, the current president for Bridge Club Atlanta, and my club is here today to talk to you about a little opportunity um, through the Asian Pacific Children's Convention, also known as the APCC. So we have a little presentation set up for you, and we hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jamie. The APCC is currently known as the biggest international event for children in the entire world. Over 200 children from over 40 countries in the Asian Pacific area are invited to this two-week program in Fukuoka, Japan. Four children from Atlanta are invited as Fukuoka's sister city. I'm Sasha. The goal of the APCC is to foster Omayari spirit of respect and understanding of other people and cultures and to support these children to become global citizens. The children who are selected are called Junior Ambassadors, or JAs. For two weeks, the JAs and their chaperone travel to Japan. During the first week, they stay in a dorm-style marine house camp where children from all over the world meet each other, exchange gifts, and share their languages and culture. Hi, I'm Nithya. Following the marine camp, the children stay with the host family. Host families are carefully selected volunteer families living in and around Fukuoka City. The JAs are part of this family for approximately a week and attend school with their host brother or sister. This gives them a chance to experience everyday Japanese life. Hi, I'm Sasha. Hi, I'm Jada. We are both proud JAs from 2019. Japan was an amazing experience and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. From eating amazing foods to making lifelong friendships. But not just making friends from all around the world, but also right here in Georgia. Sasha and me would have never have been this good of friends without this amazing program. One of my favorite memories with my host family was when I went to school with my host sister for the first time. All of my host sister's friends were really nice to me, and their English teacher was teaching them English so that they could speak to me. Also like Sasha, one of my favorite memories with my host family was going to school. I remember it like it was yesterday, making friendships and just feeling so welcomed. Going to Japan was an amazing experience for me and every other person I know who's gone. It was so different, and it definitely made me a better person. Overall, I think Japan is something that I'm going to reflect on for the rest of my life. And I want other people to have that amazing experience. Uh, one of my favorite memories from APCC was going to Japan and trying a bunch of new things like staying with the host family, uh, learning about Japanese culture, and meeting people from all over the world. Hi, my name is Jackson Edwards and I went to Japan as a JA in 2019. Japan was a really fun experience. But my one favorite memory of all was when all of the host families came together and we all got to see each other again and we ate at this really cool restaurant. But that restaurant was located in one of the coolest malls I've ever been in. And I'm in Atlanta, so we have a lot of malls. Uh, overall, Japan was a really fun experience and I'm so glad I got to be selected to go to Japan as a JA. Thank you to the Bridge Club. Hi, I'm Connor Smith, and I went to Japan in 2018. One of my favorite memories is when me and some other children went outside. We had a watermelon that was on the ground, and basically we put on a blindfold and had a wooden samurai sword, and <laughs> we tried to smash it. Like, people would be telling you where to go, and then you would try and hit it. And, I mean, in the end, it made a big mess, but it was a lot of fun, and I don't think I'll forget it. Hi, my name is Peyton Davy, and I'm a former 2017 Junior Ambassador. One of my favorite memories from the trip would have to be having exposure to the Japanese school culture and being able to experience what a day-to-day -day school life looks like in Japan and being able to compare that to what my day-to-day -day school life looks like here in America. Hi, I'm Will. I was a JA in 2017, and one of my favorite memories from when I was in Japan is going to school with my host brother and going to a sushi bar with my host family. It was a like rounding roundabout um, sushi bar and we could just pick up the sushi we wanted. It was really cool. I would like to thank the APCC for such a great experience. Hi, it's Jamie again. 
The APCC has had such a large impact on my life, and I went as a junior ambassador in 2016. I'm still in very close contact with multiple people who I met in Fukuoka, and I learned so much about Japanese culture. Hi, my name is Sasha Tarasenko, and I was a JA in 2016. One of the ways that being a JA impacted me was I got to meet so many people who were so kind and so caring and just overall great people, not just abroad, but also here in Atlanta. And I think it's just such a great thing to find a place where you can talk to other people and communicate and just have this own community. Hi, my name is Nithya. I was a junior ambassador in 2015, but even after five years, every time I attend a bridge club meeting for the Japan American Society, or receive an email from my host sister in Japan, Honoka. I feel this wave of nostalgia and it takes me back to the memories I made and the people I met. I realized how much I enjoyed my trip to Japan and the impression it left on my life. Apart from friends and memories, going to Japan as a junior ambassador expanded my horizons. I used to be an extremely picky eater, but after eating from sashimi to pickled ginger, I developed a more curious attitude towards food and definitely a more diverse palette because of it. On a broader scale, however, I became more independent-minded and aware of cultures around the world. It made me conscientious and helped me understand and apply the concept of omoyari. Omoyari is the central theme of the APCC, and um, omoyari means anticipating others' needs or acting on them before the person asks or maybe even recognizes it for themselves. By meeting people from different cultures and religions and lives, I learned to become more sensitive and in tune to what was happening around me. This has helped me in school, in sports, and even with my family. The concept of empathy and omoyari has taken root in my life because of my experience as a junior ambassador traveling to the APCC, and I am grateful for it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alice Barb. I was a junior ambassador in 2012, and I'm a former Atlanta Bridge Club president. Um, the APCC has allowed me to build really long-lasting friendships and connections all over the world, both from when I went to Japan as an 11-year-old in 2012, as well as when I was able to return as a Bridge Club president in 2018. And these friendships and connections inspired me to pursue a more global career in education. I'm now going to university abroad, which isn't something I think that I would have done were it not for the experience that I had through the APCC. And the, there's something incredibly cool about knowing a person from almost every country in the Asian Pacific region. And the travel and career opportunities that this has opened up for me are really immense. Um, and I'm infinitely grateful to the APCC for having given me um, this, this incredible opportunity. So I really encourage um, anybody to apply. It's an amazing experience and um, it's really helped me learn more about cultures abroad as well as my own right here in Georgia. Unfortunately, because of the global pandemic, the 2020 APCC could not be held in person, but all activities were held virtually. Our 2020 participants were disappointed about not being able to go to Japan, but the activities they participated in and the people they met helped create great memories nevertheless. These four children had great perseverance and attitude. I'm a 2020 JA. Unfortunately, we couldn't actually go to Japan this year, but there were so many other fun things to do. One was participating in a dance video with which we submitted for our virtual performance. Another thing was connecting with former JAs and people from other countries. I am so excited to continue working with APCC. Hi, I'm Sam Skinner and I am from the 2020 JAs. Unfortunately, we weren't actually able to go to Japan like some other people were, but I did have some really good experiences with the other JAs from 2020. Like we got to record a video and we submitted it. We got to see each other by Zoom and talk about the video that we were gonna do. And we just had fun overall. I hope to keep on having really good experiences with the- Hi, I'm Sasha's mom. Sasha was a Jane in 2019. When Sasha first brought the idea to us to go to Japan by herself, we were really worried. But when she actually went to Japan, we saw how well the program was organized and how the trip to Japan impacted Sasha. 
for the best. She experienced Japanese culture, she tried new food, and she met many, many friends and had experience she would not otherwise have had. Hi, my name is Liz Bigler. I was the chaperone for the APCC group that went in 2017. Um, <clears throat> we started out four kids and me from very different backgrounds. We didn't really know each other very well. And by the end of the time in Japan, we were sort of like a little family. And it was really interesting for me to see um, how the kids uh, experienced all the different things that they went through. Some of the experiences were so wonderful and we were felt so, we felt so welcome. The red carpet got rolled out all over the place. But it wasn't all, uh, you know, there were some hardships too. For example, they, they were not allowed to have their phones. And so it was, it was sort of an adaptation for them to figure out what to do. It was very hot the summer we were there. So they had to learn how to endure that without being able to just go into an air conditioned room and, and relax. And then of course, the, the language barrier, it was interesting to see how they ended up communicating with their host families and the kids at the schools that they met. So it was really interesting for me to see these kids, not on a luxurious vacation, but on a, a trip of growth and, and um, understanding of different cultures and different environments. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to be the chaperone for the APCC. Hi everybody, my name is Deborah Owen, and I was the chaperone for the APCC kids from Atlanta for the 2019 and 2020 years. I am also the parent of a former JA from 2017. In 2019, the kids had such a great time and as a bonus, so did I. I have made amazing friends and connections from all around the world. And I continue to foster these relationships with my involvement with the Bridge Club International. Some of my best friends are from Tahiti and Fiji, Cook Islands, Papua New Guinea, Australia, and of course, Japan. While the children went to stay at a host, their host families, I also got to stay with a host family. And my gracious, wonderful family took amazing care of me and showed me all around their amazing city of Kitakyushu, which is just north of Fukuoka. In the meantime, I was also able to continue to keep in touch with the kids I was responsible for and talk to most of them every day. Anyway, this is a very unique opportunity and I really encourage anybody to get involved. I love it. Hello everyone. My name is Yoshi Domoto. I'm the executive director of the Japan America Society at Georgia. And we have been so fortunate we work with the Asian Pacific Children's Convention, or the APCC, since 2003. Uh, and we've had the privilege of sending about 80 students from Georgia to Fukuoka, Japan, Atlanta's sister city, uh, every year uh, to foster friendships, promoting peace and mutual understanding between not only Americans and the Japanese, but also kids and people from all over Southeast Asia and around the world. The Japan America Society has been working as a liaison off office to recruit students and junior ambassadors and peace ambassadors to be part of this program each year. And we look forward to continue working together with the various communities here in Atlanta and throughout Georgia to foster another group of leadership uh, and great human beings, world peace for many, many more years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us at Japan Fest this year. We hope to see you in person next year. And check us out on Facebook at Bridge Club Atlanta and give our page a thumbs up. And hope to see you real soon.
Thank you. 